Muslims, uh, I've been calling, you know, uh, scores of Muslim groups around the, uh, the country today to talk about this. Every single one of us is outraged by uh, these bunch of thugs that uh, are kind of members of the uh, disbanded group Al Mahajirun. And we're, we're not just outraged, we, we are shocked that the police have not taken action against this group yet. Unbelievable that they got away with it. Um, you know, over the last few days, um, Muslims have been very angry. Um, you know, obviously because of these cartoons. You know, MPAC itself has been on um, um, the BBC saying why we felt that that, that was demonising the Muslims and it was it was wrong. That, um, and yet, yeah, how can it be then that Muslims are going to be silent when a group of Muslim thugs start to demonise and intimidate non-Muslims? I'm sorry, we're not going to stand for it. They're nothing but the Muslim version of the BNP, and we want action taken. Uh, I'm I just, just going to pause you there, Mr. Bukhari, because we've got getting some first pictures in from Damascus, where um, a crowd of demonstrators has set fire to the Danish embassy uh, a short time ago. Uh, the, the building also houses the embassies of Chile and Sweden. Apparently, a large crowd, several thousand, stormed the, the building. There was no opposition from Syrian police. And there doesn't seem to have been any attempt to extinguish the fire. They, they again, were, were protesting against those offensive caricatures of Prophet Muhammad that were first published in a Danish newspaper uh, several months ago. But to come back to the, the London demonstration, how, how can the Muslim community in the UK permit an own goal like yesterday and show the world a side of Islam that closely corresponds to the caricature which they themselves were condemning. Look, you've got to understand this. Think, think about this rationally. I want, uh, you know, I hope that the public will, 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 will think about this. Look, the BNP, do they reflect everyone in Britain? Of course they don't. If you see a march on that the BNP do, what can the general British public do? What, lock them in their houses? That they exist. These kind of thugs exist in our society. What we've got to do is apply pressure to the, uh, um, the government and, uh, and, and the police that when they cross the line into inciting hatred and, and demonization or intimidation, they are stopped. So, you, you know, I, I, please don't say that this is a side of Islam. This is not a side of Islam. Just like the BNP is not a side of secular, liberal, Western democracy. They are a bunch of thugs and they, you know, they are going to prey on any misfortune uh, or, or, you know, anger arising within Britain. And just like the Muslims, um, we have a bunch of thugs and these are the thugs that, that are trying to hijack um, the anger of Muslims about this um, demonization of the Prophet. We're not going to allow them to hijack it. The vast majority of Muslims. You know, do you know um, how many um, uh, members Al Mahajirun has? About 50. I mean, it's such a tiny group and yet such a, a, a menace to British uh, um, society. We really demand some action. The police have got to investigate. I read a newspaper headline, I saw some of the images uh, today, and they were saying something like, butcher anyone who um, um, uh, attacks the prophet. Are they saying that we, we've got to go kill, kill people in, in, in Denmark who have done this? No. We can defeat their argument rationally. If they've, if they've said something that's wrong, I have gone against the editor uh, um, uh, uh, of uh, the German newspaper, and I feel that, that I, I countered many of these arguments, and many non-Muslims would have said, okay, well, that's fair comment. Why do we have to resort to this? We don't. A small band of thugs cannot hijack this. We're not going to let them hijack this, and we want some action.